Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Blue Sky Puppet Theater proudly presents a cranky, will anything go right for a little bear? Once there was a little bear who was so little that he couldn't even reach up to the light switch. And because he couldn't reach up to the light switch, often he would put his shoes on the wrong feet. And his father would come in and say, little bear, your shoes are on the wrong feet. And little bear would say, oh no, will anything go right for me today? Well, that morning, as he was getting ready for breakfast, he climbed up onto the table, and he's so little, he has to use chairs and boxes. And his big brother said, Ha oh, ha, little bear, you're so little. Ha oh, ha. Little bear chose to ignore his brother's taunts and got at his Cheerios. He loves his Cheerios. He likes to pretend that he's a pirate looking for pirate ships. He likes to look for damsels in distress. Sometimes he likes to look down at the bottom of the ocean to find shrimp because that's what his brother sometimes calls him. And sometimes he just likes to make funny faces. But when it came time to actually have his cereal, all his brother had drank all the milk and he said, oh no, it's empty. And then he just had to say, will anything go right for me today? Well, that day as he was climbing up the stairs to the school, he got stuck with, what is it? Yeah, you know what it is. It's bubble gum. And he pulled and he pulled as hard as he could. And pretty soon, it came loose. But then it got all over him. And he had to go to the nurse's office to get it cut out. And he had to say, will anything go right for me today? Well... That day was a big day for the school because they were going to be handing out the trophy for the best math student, the Professor Stephen Fetter Memorial Trophy and Blender for Mathematical Excellence. Well, Little Bear really wanted to win this trophy because he thought that it was going to be pretty much his to take home because he was an excellent math student. Well, the professor put a formula on the board, and Little Bear knew exactly what it was. He raised his hand as high as he could and waved it and waved it and waved it, but, but the professor couldn't see him because the kid in front of him was so much bigger than him. But his good friend Susie, she raised her hand and said, Professor, isn't that the exact representation of the fraction of gamma rays that escape unscattered from a spherical shell of radioactive material? And he said, you're right, Susie, <laughs> and you win the trophy. And Susie clicked up her heels, which is something you don't see people doing very often nowadays. And Little Bear was very happy for his friend uh, Susie, but he was unhappy for himself. And he said, oh, will anything go right for me today? Well then, ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding, it was his favorite class of the day. It was recess. Well, all the children jumped from their desks and ran outside. But by the time he got to the door, all the children had gone and the door had shut. And he's so small he can't reach the doorknob. But he's a clever little bear. So he went and got a chair and got up on the chair to open the door. But then he's also a, a very conscientious little bear, so he took the chair back. But by the time he got back, the door had slammed shut again so he had to come up with a better plan. This time he got a book to wedge into the door. So he wedges the book into the door and he takes back the chair, but by the time he gets back, all the children were back from recess and he didn't get to go outside. So he just had to say, will anything go right for me today? Well, the next class is his favorite class, art class. Oh, he's working on a new painting. Would you like to see it? It's a really pretty good painting, I think. At least the teacher thinks so, too. Here it is. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? But, oh no, he knocked over a, a bucket of red paint. And then in an attempt to clean it up, he got it all over his paws. And then it got all over the walls. And then it got all over the painting. And it messed it all up. And George Washington didn't want red paint all over everything. And he just had to say, oh, no, will anything go right for me today? Well, that night, just as he was starting his homework, his pencil broke, and he went, phooey! And he got into bed, and he thought very growly thoughts. He thought, nothing ever goes right for me. I'm just a little bear. Nothing goes right for me. But then there was a knock at the door. 
and his mother was there. And he says, little bear, I just happened to be walking down the hall and I just happened to have two bowls of vanilla ice cream. Would you like one? And he says, well, I don't want it to go to waste. Now, do I? So she sat on the bed with him and she said, little bear, why don't you tell me some of the good things that happened for you today? And he goes, well, let's see. Well, first I got to play with my Cheerios. And mom, I think I saw pirates. And then I went down to the nurse's office and she cut uh, bubble gum out of my hair. And then she gave me a lollipop and she's so nice. How does she know I like lollipops? It was cherry. And then I found the best book ever. I used it to prop open the, the door, but its title was the best book ever. And mom, it was the best book ever. And then, Mom, I traded my kale salad today for my lunch for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with Rodney, and it was so delicious. I hope you don't mind. Oh, that's okay, little bear. And then my art teacher showed me how to fix my painting. She said, just cut off all the paint sections, little bear. And she said, that's what artists do all the time. They figure out what they have to do to make things right. And he said, now I think it looks good as a circular painting. What do you think? It puts more emphasis on George Washington this way. And then Susie let me hold the trophy and she said, Little Bear, you knew the answer. I saw you waving your hand. You know exactly what it was. I think we should share this trophy. You have it half the time and I have it half the time. And I said, Thanks, Susie. And then we got to play with Bubbles on the playground. And it was so much fun. I love playing with Bubbles. (laughs) And then with that, Little Bear put his head down on his pillow and drifted off to sleep. And his mother covered him up and she said, Little bear, you're not going to be little for much longer. Don't worry about it. But you should just keep on doing what you do best. And that's to dream big. And that is the end. <laughs>